On this video, what we're going to do is combine everything we just learned about inequalities into one video and, and, and solve two-step inequalities and also graph them. So let's start with the inequality x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so this is a very simple, uh, very simple algebraic inequality. So we, we subtract 3 on both sides, we get 0 there, so we get x is greater than or equal to 4 minus 3, which is 1. And this right here is our solution. So let's go ahead and graph this solution. So we draw our number line. We plot our value. In this case, it is 1. And let's go ahead and plot some values to the left and right so we can get a little more intuition on what's going on. 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And then to the right, 2, 3, 4, and so on. All right, so let's look, at, let's look at our solution once again. So it says x is greater than or equal to 1. So we go to 1. We, we draw a closed circle since, it, this, since 1 is in the solution. And it says greater than 1. So we draw an arrow to the right, infinitely to the right. So anything 1 or anything greater is our solution. All right, let's do one more. Let's say we have... Let's say we have... 2x, let's say we have negative 2x plus 4 is greater than 10. So this right here is a two-step inequality. So let's go ahead and solve. So first we subtract by 4 on both sides. This cancels. 10 minus 4 is 6. So we have negative 2x is greater than 6. Now what we do is divide both sides by negative 2. Because remember, our goal is to isolate x and get x alone and, uh, in order to solve. So we divide both sides by negative 2. And right here, you have to be very careful. Every time you divide or multiply by a negative in an inequality, you have to flip the sign. So this cancels out to 1. And we flip the sign. So let's go ahead and do that so we don't forget. So we flip the sign. And then 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So we get x is less than negative 3. So now let's go ahead and graph that. So we draw our number line. Let's plot our value. Let's plot it right here. Negative 3. Let's plot some values greater than, greater than and less than negative 3. So greater than, we got negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on. Less than, we have negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So let's look at our solution once again. x is less than a negative 3. So we go to negative 3, we draw an open circle. Since negative 3 is not in the solution, our solution is only less than negative 3. So we draw an arrow to the left infinitely to the left and that is our solution represented visually.